So we've logged into Fishbowl and now we're going to go through just basic navigation on how to move around the Fishbowl client. So the first thing you see when you log into the Fishbowl client is the dashboard. The dashboard can be customized per computer. So if I have an order desk computer or a shipping and receiving computer, then I can go ahead and set up the dashboard for that accordingly. So to do that, I can come up here and I can remove any of these windows in the dashboard by clicking the red X. And then I can add new windows to the dashboard by clicking the show available gadgets button and just click and drag the windows that I want to be here. So if I had an order desk, perhaps I'd want open sales orders that I have here and open purchase orders and perhaps open RMA orders. Or if I had a shipping and receiving desk, maybe I'd want items to be received on here. And then if we come over a little bit, I have items to be shipped. Or maybe whenever I log into Fishbowl, I just want to see a specific report. So I can pull this up, select a report I want. Let's say I want an overview of the sales for the day. So I'll pull up the sales order summary report. Open this up and then click OK and then every time I log into Fishbowl it'll generate the sales order summary report which right now is very small but if that was the only window on your dashboard you could see it like that. Over here on the left we have the different module groups. So we have general material sales, purchasing, manufacturing, accounting, and setup. Now in the last video we went into the setup group and then opened up the user module. So when you have a technician and they say, well, go to this group and then this module, so that they might phrase it as, okay, go to the materials group part module. Or if you have a question on how to make a purchase order, they'll say, go to the purchasing group purchase order module or sales group customer module. And they'll open up the different modules like that. Now you've probably noticed that as I open up new modules, I get new tabs up here. So I can refer back to previous modules that I've been in just by clicking on these different tabs rather than going from sales, sales order to purchasing, purchase order, and then back to sales, sales order. Instead of that, I can just switch between the two like this. Now to close out of one of these tabs, you just right click on a tab and then hit close, or you can go over here and click close all the other tabs and that'll close everything else. You can also hit close all and it'll bring you back to the splash screen. Up here at the top, we have the menu bar. So file and then you'll notice the module groups again. General, material, sales, purchasing, manufacturing, accounting, and setup. And you can navigate to all the same modules the same way. So purchasing, purchase order, sales, customer, general, dashboard. And you can see how to navigate around Fishbowl using these. I've got my dashboard open. The last thing is up here we have a module toolbar or just called a toolbar. And this toolbar will change depending on what module I'm in. So for the sales order, I have a new button. If I go over here to the purchase order, I'll also have a new button, but some of the buttons over here are a little different. Vendor module, receiving module, all of my buttons change depending on what module I'm in. Now that also goes for the reports. So here I've got different reports for the receiving module than I do for the sales order module. And also for the module options. So here are the module options for the sales order module. Whereas if I come to the customer module, there are no module options for the customer module. So just keep that in mind. If uh, you're getting directed by a trainer or a technician and they say, go to the reports module and then go to the reports module options. You'll come up here and go to general, reports, and then tools, module options. And this gives you the module options for reports. So that's basic navigation through the Fishbowl client. In the next video, we're going to go over how to start adding data to your database.